Today we are giving this fridge a good deep clean inside and out as well as doing some good enough organization and restocking. Hello, my name is Allie. I love to create videos on decluttering, cleaning, organization, and just homemaking in general. I am trying to simplify and slow down my life in hopes that I can have time for more meaningful things. I am a recovering perfectionist who wants to be a good enoughist. If you share some of these same feelings, you are in the right place. You will see a lot of raw realness in the second half of this video. I'd love to have you join me today so we can have each other for support. Just know that you are not alone and I'm here cheering you on. So I wanted to tell you, this is the story of how my fridge died. Name that movie. No, but really one morning, um, it was a Saturday morning, we woke up to the fridge not being cold. Luckily, the food was still a little bit cold, so we figured it would be okay. The fridge had been making some weird noises the few days prior, and we were planning on getting a repairman to come. It just ended up dying, unfortunately. We have only had this fridge for a year and a half. It seems like appliances nowadays just don't last very long, but luckily we actually were able to get it fixed. It was still under warranty, but I figured that this was a really good time to deep clean the fridge. I had everything out of the fridge and it needed just to be turned off. So I pulled the fridge out, I unplugged it, and I turned the water off. The reason I turned the water off is because it was still making ice. Like the freezer was still cold, but just the fridge portion wasn't cold, but the ice was melting, so it was making a huge mess. I vacuumed the floor, baseboards, and the wall. It really wasn't too bad. I'm pretty sure I had cleaned back there within the last six months probably. On the floor there was lots of goopy stuff with stuck on dog hair. It was really really gross. So anyway, I just gave everything a good wipe down. I didn't actually take off the panel in the back to vacuum the coils there because it said something like uh, technicians remove this panel only and I was a little bit nervous but I should have done it. Um, I've done it before on my old fridge and I know that it can get really, really nasty and dirty and dusty and that can cause a lot of the problems with the fridge. So I probably will, will go back and do that next time. I wiped the back and the sides of the fridge with an all-purpose spray. As I was pushing the fridge back, I realized that I forgot to clean off the top. So I took a quick minute to get it cleaned off really well. When you push back your fridge, make sure you don't push it too far against the wall. You want to have a pretty good space uh, to give it some breathing room. Now that the outside of the fridge is sparkling clean, I'm moving on to the inside. I wanted to just use some warm water and the tiniest bit of dish soap. I really didn't want to spray all-purpose spray in here. It just, I don't know, it kind of seemed weird. Now, because my fridge was already completely empty of the food, it was really easy for me to get it cleaned out really well. But if you are cleaning out your fridge, a couple of things you can do, you can take out all of your food and put them into coolers while you clean it out, or you can just empty one shelf at a time and clean that shelf. I've done that many, many times. It's actually my preferred way of cleaning out the fridge. Like I said in the beginning, you will see in the next little bit the real alley. <laughs> so this gets really hard because I really don't like that you can see, um, especially in the footage that I have a little bit later, you can see every single age spot, sunspot, freckles, all of the little spots all over my face and, and arms and, and my wrinkly hands and all that. And also that my hair is always in a ponytail. <laughs> it's just... I have to remind myself that it's not all about keeping up with the latest style or the latest looks. It's not about having makeup and hair done all the time. I've always been someone who's really pretty simple. I didn't start wearing makeup until probably mid twenties or maybe, well, actually I think some of the first time that I actually wore makeup was on my wedding day. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just showing you that I'm trying to really just keep it real hair. I really just want to do what works for me and not worry about what other people think, but you know, that's easier said than done. Let me know down in the comments, is this something that you struggle with? Do you feel like you have to be made up all the time? 
or are you okay and comfortable in your own skin and just being you? I would really love to hear from you on this topic. And also, I would really love it if you would give this video a thumbs up if it's something that you are enjoying or that you find helpful or motivating. If you want to see more of these type of videos, decluttering and cleaning and homemaking, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. This is what I love to do and I would love to have you in my community. This is a great place. There's a lot of support here and I just love the people that are here and I really appreciate you for being here today. Well, it's been a day. <laughs> it's almost four o'clock. I wanted to try and get this project done this morning, but you know, things have just gotten away from me. Actually, I've been wanting to do this for several days. We have two fridges right now. We have this tiny little fridge back here and our regular fridge. I just did some grocery shopping. I was gonna try and clean out um, all the food before, but I just, I didn't have time. I needed to get the grocery shopping done for some of the things I needed this week. Uh, kids are getting home from school. It's just kind of crazy, but we're just going to go with it because this is real life. And this is exactly why I started this channel was to show you real life. I am going to clean out this little fridge, put it all in the fridge with the groceries, and then I'm going to go look through the freezer. Oh, and then another thing. Oh my gosh. So yesterday my husband went downstairs to open the freezer to get my son a popsicle or something and we noticed that stuff was thawing out. We just had to fix our fridge. Are we gonna have to fix this freezer as well? I kind of thought, well, I wonder if it's because we had we had to stuff all of our food in there from the freezer up here because we, we didn't have this at the time. So it was crammed and full. And I'm pretty sure that, that was the reason why it was starting to defrost in some areas. So we did lose some food. We lost ice cream and popsicles and some little bags that I had of like pesto sauce and spaghetti sauce and stuff. So yeah, it did start to work actually again. That was the problem. It was overstuffed. So don't stuff your freezer too full. I learned that lesson. It really is bothering me because I just defrosted that freezer and cleaned it out about a month or two ago. It wasn't that long ago and it is covered in ice. A lot of the stuff that was in there kind of melted and made a big mess. So now I have to do that again. <laughs> but I'm gonna just start with this fridge and getting the stuff together up here. Let's go ahead and see what I can get done soon because we're gonna have soccer practice and all that tonight. So let's get going. All right, as you saw earlier, I did have this fridge completely cleaned inside and outside. It's, you know, got fingerprints all over it again, but whatever. And we do have a few things that we just put in here not organized at all and there are some crumbs and stuff that have come in here so i am going to give this a quick wipe down i'm going to take this all out and put everything back in actually i'm just going to do one shelf at a time it's easier i should have started on the top but i've already done this so i'm going to do that i'm going to grab a washcloth Okay, I know that my milk goes here. Um, yeah. This one I'm gonna toss, it expires today. Some of our grape juice. Whoop. I need to do that. 
It's gonna go there. And then I have this smoothie that my kids like. Starting with that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I know. All right. Let's see. <laughs> now, where did I put the washcloth? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, and you can see every spot on my face, and I have redness. I actually have started doing. Um, some electrolysis for hair removal. And I got that done this morning. So I'm just letting my face heal. No makeup for like, uh, I think it's 24 hours. You're not supposed to have makeup on. Real life again. I always put my leftover up here. Put eggs here. Try and keep my fruit. Well, actually, I keep it in the store. I haven't thought of putting my kiwi in there before. Guess I'll do that. That's wiped down enough. That's all I have the time and energy for today. Okay, put back this stuff real quick. The cheese goes in this drawer. And that, uh, let's see. I need to empty the bags here real quick. So I can see what I'm working with. All right, some more leftovers up here. All right, let's see. This was something that kind of thought out in my freezer. So we're having drumsticks this week. I've got to grab some more in the freezer downstairs because four is not enough for our family. So I'm going to keep that usually about right there. Sure, why not? And actually, I can save some space. Combine these. These are eggs from my sister's chickens. Thank you, Jen. So all of this, Comments. Well, not the jam, actually. Let me put that away. These are all condiments that wouldn't fit in the little mini fridge. Um, actually, we had to take our stuff over to the neighbors across the street at the very beginning. She said she had an extra fridge and that we could use it, so we brought all of our stuff over, but we didn't take this stuff because they didn't know if it would fit. And a lot of this stuff, I think, is okay not in the fridge, like soy sauce, um, but some of it is questionable. So I really am not sure. I mean, they say refrigerate after opening, but I don't know. I did keep ketchup out, which it's back in the fridge again because I used it last night for dinner, but um, it was totally fine. So maybe this will be fine too. I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna put it back and we'll see. But I'm gonna do that after all the other stuff. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, this is all the new food. I didn't empty out that fridge yet. Oh well. Okay. This is unfortunately too tall. So I just have to stick it somewhere else. That's been a good spot. Demos. I'm gonna put them here because there's a bucket that I use to put them in over here. Ham, some sandwiches. I'm gonna go in here. Pudding, same spot. Yeah, yeah, I know. All my vegetables. Those are gonna go in here. all that's refrigerated from my groceries. All right, I'm gonna empty out that fridge.
break because it's hollering at me. Oh, let's see. That doesn't look very good. I'm gonna toss that. All right, these are the little bins. Let's see if I can get these all put together. Oh, this doesn't have to go in here yet. It hasn't been opened. Let me put that in the cupboard. These are dirty. This is actually the front. You know, I just don't have the energy. Next time I clean out the fridge, I'll clean those out. Not today. Not today. Okay. I'm usually not a person who like wants these and makes them all look pretty like all the other people you see. This is real. So I only got these because these were getting all over the place. This just helps contain them. But I never ever <laughs> make it look really pretty. Just shove them in there wherever they fit. There you go. That's where I keep these. I had a better rhyme or reason, but this is just deli and cheese, but not everything will fit in here, obviously. Like this cheese that was too tall, that one. Um, but I do have some more eggs. And I have a couple spots here. Ah, one extra, stick it on the top. There we go. Ooh. Okay, this juice. I don't really like it. My kids didn't like it. I'm gonna throw it away. Butter. Kind of just stick it in this little spot here. Use every nook and cranny that I can, right? Okay, more. I think that might be all the sheep. I think this is pretty old. Yeah, I'm throwing that out. Okay. Yeah. All that's in here I know is new and kind of fresh. I'm gonna stick these in the fruit drawer. The celery is gross. It's going in. Two bags of carrots now. I didn't realize that. That's all right. We'll eat them. Actually, put that back there. Put that one towards the front. Didn't even get to that at all. These, yep, that. All right. Carrots can go in there. These, you're all garbage. Got lettuce, we can use, get the air out of it. And then we can salvage the rest of the lettuce here. Cilantro. Gotta use that up, mm, I think tonight. tonight. Jalapenos from my garden and peppers from my garden. Oh, and a jello. <laughs> cucumber too, ooh, two cucumbers. Love cucumbers. So, let's see what we need right now. It's not really fit. It's gonna go up there. I can use it. Alright, I have to leave the soccer practice, so we're gonna hustle. 
Just toss the stuff in here where you had it before, if I can remember. Um. about gone, there's a tiny bit. I'm just gonna throw it out. Oh, this one goes over here. Okay, oh, this is big guy. Ooh. Keep him in the back here. So he takes up too much space. Okay. Let's see what else you've got. Dressing. And actually, I don't think I'll This was a jar of tomatoes that didn't seal, so I had to put them in my fridge. I gotta use these up. Come over there. This here. This will just go right there. I think. Mm. Oh, a few more. I don't even know if I'm gonna use these again. Don't really care for them. We'll see. All right, that's it for now. I'll put the last few stuff, the things that are over here when I get back. Okay, let's go.